Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. I want to start out today's video with an apology. Just real quick to my father-in-law, Bill. You know, he spent a lot of time detailing this tractor, getting it looking all nice and shiny. It's been at my house for the last couple of days, using it for my lawn, and now we have it out here. My 1025R is in the shop. It sprung a leak in the front axle. You can't take it on the lawn. It's a steady drip. It had a really big puddle underneath it. I don't know what happened. I was just, actually, I had it at my house, loading up a little bit of, uh, stuff that I had dug out, some plants and debris, parked it, came back the next day, and a huge old puddle underneath there. However, it was a good opportunity to use the, the 3R. I love this series of tractor. Not the standard bucket that's on here. This is not even a high volume bucket, but it is a definitely oversized bucket from HLA. You know, in the tractor world, this is big, but in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty tiny bucket. However, it's roughly double the capacity of the standard 61 inch bucket that would come on a 3R. It's going to help us knock out this 44 yards of wood chips a heck of a lot quicker. I am proud to be sponsored by Bore Wheel Spacers. If you are looking for a stability solution, have that tippy feeling side to side, check out Bore Wheel Spacers, aluminum or steel, one to six inches in width. Could be for your tractor, maybe it's for your truck, maybe it's for a UTV. They can help. Made in America, link down below. I'd encourage you to check out our other videos. If you like this one, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you hit that subscribe button right down below and head on over to Goodworks Tractors if you're looking for something cool for your tractor. Some of you may not know, but we actually own another business, a daycare center across town, and that's where we're at today. You know, we have a licensing requirement to replenish and keep and maintain a certain amount of mulch on the playground, and so that's what we're doing. You may wonder why it's 44 yards of mulch, and it's a pretty simple answer that the delivering truck could contain 22 yards. So we got two full loads. That should be enough to get us through. We have a berm up front. We'll throw any leftovers on as well, but this is going to be close enough. Now, I would have loved to use my 4 Series in the cab, except for the fact that the gates to get into the playground are only 70 inches wide. So, you know, that's roughly 6 inches or so too narrow for my machine to fit through. The 3R here fits really well. Actually, the last time I did this, I used my 3046R that I used to have. Absolutely loved that tractor, did a lot of videos on it. This 3039 is gonna be set up with some turf tires. Very easy on the grass around here. And it will also be a little bit easier for us to maneuver kind of around the perimeter of the uh, playground and around the plastic retaining wall that's in the center of it as well. So again, this is gonna be a 60 inch, it's actually a skid steer bucket. According to HLA's website, it's just, you know, a, a whole hum bucket what, right in the middle of what they have to offer. They have buckets as large as two yards. So you're gonna see on the back plate here, it says 13.7 cubic feet. If you're going to a heaped volume, that will be roughly 17 and a half cubic feet. If you're comparing that to one of the standard John Deere 60 inch buckets, it's nearly double that. You're gonna have about nine or nine and a half feet for a heaped volume in a standard bucket. So this is nearly double the capacity, which means Half the trips are gonna be required to go from point A to point B. Gonna be a big time saver. So I am an HLA dealer. You know, we ship HLA products all over the country. If you're looking for a new bucket for your machine, maybe it's just a standard bucket, a little bit more of a high volume, low profile for a skid steer, maybe one of the great big uh, high capacity buckets that they have, or even a snow bucket, we can help you out for John Deere Quick Attach, for Skid Steer Quick Attach, Global Quick Attach, custom pinned on versions as well. Just go to goodworkstractors.com or shoot us an email. Now I was in a bit of a rush. I know that's not an excuse, but I forgot to tag along the heavy hitch and the weight bracket or a ballast box, something else out here. We do have four uh, wheel weights that are on this tractor. We're on very flat ground. We're not gonna be going more than a couple feet off the ground with a, a full load of mulch. And even when it is fully loaded with this bucket, it's gonna be less than half the capacity of what this loader can lift. So it's not ideal. I still like to have the additional ballast weight here, but given the situation, the circumstances out here, we're gonna be just fine. We're gonna play it safe and take it slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a guess. Say it's gonna take us about two and a half hours. I'm gonna be manning the tractor. We have Paul helping. He's gonna be spreading the mulch and everything as I kind of drop it off inside the playground. So about two and a half hours. If you have a guess for how long you think it would take, hit pause, leave a comment down below.
right, so I think we're roughly halfway through, give or take. It's only been about 45 minutes. We're making pretty good time. You know, I think the 1025 would have been nice to have just from a nimbleness standpoint. This front corner here is really, well, it's almost impossible to navigate around without a lot of back and forth. So got to go all the way around the far side, not the end of the world. This bucket is great though. This is really, it's cutting out so much time. It's incredible. Again, 45 minutes, we've done, you know, roughly 22 yards. I got one man on the rake kind of spreading it out and I'm dumping it. So the position of the mulch helps, I'm telling you. So last time I was all the way up front and that's just wasted time going to and from the bucket to where you have to dump it at. You know, we were doing a video, um, I don't know, a month ago at my mom's house and we had the mulch, you know, in one corner of the house and there was beds and locations all over the yard. A lot more time consuming just from the driving aspect of it. So. Think about that ahead of time. If you can position it really close to where you have to put the majority of your product, it's gonna save a lot of time. Alrighty guys, so we started at 150, it is 351. So it took us two hours, not bad. 44 yards of mulch spread in place. We do still have to sweep it up. I have my backpack blower, we got a broom here. We'll clean up still, but still 44 yards. So that's thanks to this bucket right here. It made a huge difference, night and day difference. We would have still been, well, maybe double the time potentially because it's about half the size that standard bucket. So if you guys are in, the landscape business, you know, the mulch business, rock, dirt, whatever. If you gotta move it all the time, 
boy, these higher volume buckets, they'll get a payback pretty quick. One interesting thing to note as well for, from my perspective is the efficiency of these diesel machines. We started with roughly two thirds of a tank of fuel and we're still at half a tank. So about two hours of runtime on, you know, a, a sixth of a tank somewhere right around there. It was pretty fuel efficient overall. I thought that'd be a good data point for you guys. Alrighty guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have time, check out the other videos that we have. I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. And as always, head on over to GoodWorksTractors.com. All sorts of cool stuff for your tractor can be found over there. Thanks again for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. All done. That's a wrap. Adios, amigos. Hasta la vista, baby.